Hello, how to solve this problem? x plus 5 factorial divided by x plus 1 factorial equals to 360. From here, x plus 5 factorial can be written as x plus 5 times x plus 4 times x plus 3 times x plus 2 times x plus 1 factorial then divided by we have x plus 1 factorial here then equals to 360 and uh, from here we have x plus 1 factorial cancel each other then we are left with x plus 5 times x plus 4 times x plus 3 times x plus 2 equals to 360. Then we solve from here and uh, let's group x plus 5 then x plus 2 together. We have x plus 5 times x plus 2. This is grouped together. Then let's group x plus 4 and x plus 3 together. So we have x plus 4 then times x plus 3 then into bracket that is equal to 360. And from here we can expand this bracket. We have x times x that's giving us s square. So this is s square plus x times 2 that's 2x then plus 5 times x now that's 5x then plus 5 times 2 that's 10 then into bracket also when we expand this other bracket we have x square then plus 3x plus 4x plus 12 then equals to 360 and from here we can still add this together because of like terms and we have x square plus 7x 2x plus 5x that's 7x plus 10 then multiply by x square plus 3x plus 4x that's 7x plus 12 then equals to 360 equals to 360 on this side and from there we can rewrite this as s square plus 7x plus 11 minus 1 because 10 can be written as 11 minus 1 and uh, also this also can be written as s square plus 7x plus 11 plus 1 12 here can be written as 11 plus 1 so we have Gotten something similar here, then equals to 360. So we have gotten something similar here, which is s squared plus 7x plus 11. Now let's use a letter to represent that. So we can say let a letter u be equals to s squared plus 7x plus 11, and the equation will become u minus 1 because this has been represented with u that's u minus 1 now so we have u minus 1 then multiply by u plus 1 then equals to 360 and from there we have this in form of the identity of difference of two squares when we have a square minus b square this can be written as a plus b multiply by a minus b and this right hand side is in this form then we can write it in the form of the left hand side and we have u square so it becomes u square minus one square and one square is t1 which is equals to 360 and by the time we solve for u here we can take minus one to this side become plus that means u square will now be equal to 361 and uh, to cancel this square we introduce square root on both sides so square cancel square root here then 
we have u to be equals to plus or minus square root of 361 that's 19 plus or minus 19 and uh, we have the value of u we represented u as f square plus 7x plus 11 so we can bring it down here and uh, we have f square plus 7x plus 11 equals to plus or minus 19 now we have two cases here and uh, we can separate it the first case we have x square plus 7x plus 11 equals to 19 and the second case we have x square plus 7x plus 11 which is equals to minus 19 and uh, from here we can take this 19 here to form a quadratic equation and we have x square plus 7x plus 11 then minus 19 equals to 0 similarly on this side we have x square plus 7x plus 11 then minus 19 come here become plus 19 equals to 0 so now from here this can be written as x square plus 7x 11 minus 19 that gives us minus 8 then equals to 0 and on this side as well we have x square plus 7x when we add this together we have plus 30 which is equals to 0 now we can check if we are going to have a resolution or not from this quadratic equation using the discriminant b square minus 4ac so the discriminant here b is 7 so we have 7 square minus 4 times a is 1 then c is minus 8 then we have 7 square that's 49 then minus times minus that's plus 4 times 8 we have plus 32 and this gives us 81 so this is greater than 0 so we have a resolution here and of course this is a perfect square a perfect square then we can factorize now let's check on this side as well whether we can we have a resolution here so we're using the discriminant so b square that's 7 square minus 4 a is 1 then c is 30 and from here we have 49 minus 120 and uh, when we check from here we discover that this is less than 0 so no resolution here on this side then from here we can factorize this we can factorize this and this will become x square this equation become when we factorize x square plus 8x minus x minus 8 equals to 0 because plus 8x minus 8x equals 7x now from here what is common between this is x take it out we have x plus 8 and what is common is minus 1 we have x plus 8 then equals to 0 then we have x plus 8 common then we have x left here then minus 1 which is equals to 0 so we have two cases here x plus 8 equals to 0 or we have x minus 1 equals to 0 then here when we take plus 8 here we have x equals to minus 8 then x equals to 1 now let's check which one will be a solution from what we are given we have x plus 5 factorial divided by x plus 1 factorial equals to 360 now from this particular expression we have that on the left we have x plus 1 factorial must be greater than or equals to 0 must be greater than or equals to 0 and if this is so that means our x must be greater than or equals to minus 1 and when we check this minus 8 is less than minus 1 so here minus 8 will not be a solution 
and let's check for s equals to 1. So when s equals to 1, we have 1 plus 5, that's 6 factorial over 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial. And 6 factorial is same thing as 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then over 2 factorial is 2 times 1. And here, 2 times 1 cancel each other here. Then we are left with 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. So with this one give us 360. And when we check 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 is same thing as 360. Then we check that 360 is equals to 360. Therefore, x equals to 1 here is a solution. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so as not to miss out. See you in the next class and bye for now.